guys welcome to another video Gaston here uh, today I want to show you something really important that I know that not a lot of people gives uh, so much time or so much attention and we're gonna talk about a couple of ways to clean your shots okay today we're gonna focus on the forehand I'm gonna give you uh, six ways that you, you know exercises that you can do to clean your your technique to clean your stroke I always have a lot of people here on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook telling me that they love so much how clean my shots are. I have to thank for that to my coaches, you know, all the way since I was a junior player, always um, having me on the side doing all these kind of drills, even when I was playing, you know, with junior with good ranking or when I was playing ITF or when I was starting to try to play pro. I used to get to the academy, you know, every two weeks, every after six or six weeks of tournament um, and cleaning my shots. I mean, it's, it's something that you don't realize, but as, as the more you start to play, the more you start to get into competition, the more uh, you start to lose the, the smoothness and the, the clean, uh, how clean you hit, okay? Either the forehand, the serve, the backhand, you actually, we call this on tennis, uh, you probably heard it before, you start to get um, dirty and messy on your strokes so you have to kind of like go back again to the ABC of tennis and start to, to learn again okay all the strokes so I'm gonna show you six ways okay of doing this why I'm here if I have tennis courts uh, right in front of me because I want to stress here that anywhere anywhere you can go to a park uh, you can go for a run you can be on your garden you can be on your backyard whatever you are you just need a couple of, um, of materials if you don't have them I mean, it's, it's totally fine. You can improvise with something, but actually I'm gonna use a tennis ball, racket, and I have a couple of uh, elastic bands there. And I'm gonna show you uh, the ones I prefer to do. There are probably many, many more, but the ones I, I always been doing. So yeah, let's let's see the, what, what exercise that looks. So we're gonna go from less to more. The first one, very simple, very simple. You're gonna uh, split your forehand in three ways. So you're gonna get, I always like to do it at the, the more real, the better. Uh, so I always like to get a little here, uh, bending my knees, just like I was hitting. So you're gonna, from the start, you're gonna do one, two, three, and you're gonna stop on the point of impact, okay? So from here, one, two, three. Those are the, remember, every player that you see, there are hundreds and thousands of videos of people sharing videos, doing all the Jokovic forehand with all the, the loops and everything. If you pay attention, this is what they're doing. One, two, okay, taking it back, so we go. First exercise, from the beginning, one, two, three. Stop at the point of impact. You do that for at least 20, 15 uh, times, uh, 25, 30, as many as you want, but say it, okay, Whatever, you, whenever you're saying it, one, two, three. You're gonna start to feel how your forehand starts to get more compact and cleaner, okay? So that's, that's the first one. The second one, and to see if you're doing this one right, you're gonna add a tennis ball under your uh, arm and your elbow, okay? Not at the elbow, kind of like a middle here, okay, middle biceps here. You're gonna press against your ribs, same thing, okay? The ball can fall, one, two, and the ball has to fall the moment you take after the point of impact. So you're not gonna get here only, you're gonna keep going so the ball falls, okay? So from here, one, two, three the ball comes okay again do the same thing one okay here one two three the ball comes okay you're gonna feel the ball start to fall when you get to a point of impact and once you keep going the ball is gonna fall so that's the second one okay for the third one all right for the third one you're gonna need a, an elastic band or anything that you can put probably elastic band is, is gonna be the easier you're gonna set it up on a on a post or anything that you have close by just make sure you put it uh, on a place that is not gonna come off you're gonna go with the racket you can put it so don't make it so heavy okay you don't you don't want to work there is a way here a couple of drills here that you can do to you know to get some uh, strength and power here but you're not looking for that now so the closer to your hand you put it the better it is so you, you're not actually working out here okay don't don't let it loose okay don't leave the, the band loose from there with a little stretch, what you're gonna do is get in the right grip, okay, get in the right grip. You can do it all or extended, depending what forehand you hit, if you hit arm extended or if you hit a little more bent. 
and from this point, okay, from what would be the point of impact, you just gotta let it go a little, no, don't let it loose, okay, because this can come off, as, in, as it's happening here, okay, it's very important that you don't let it loose, and from here, you're just gonna do the hitting, okay, if you feel the rack is moving too much, then you come a little more here, you close it, and then you go, okay, here, you can put your arm here, are you doing this with your arm? The idea, okay, is that you only use your wrist, okay, you're gonna feel it, it's gonna be, the lighter you use the band, the easier it's gonna be, okay, I use the yellow one, because, the blue one, because I actually uh, want to put more, a little more strength here on my forearm, so from here, only this part of the hitting, don't, okay, control the racket, don't make it all, all the way around, just, you can see here all the part, and if I do it in slow motion, all the part, the racket only comes from there, goes, comes, goes, comes, goes. If you feel that you're getting tired with this one, just uh, take the racket, take the, the elastic band off, okay, until you get used to, and then just do it with your hand. Okay, actually, after doing it with the band, you're gonna feel that the racket is really light. Okay, so let's see the fourth one. Number four, now we gotta, uh, we started, like I said, we go from less to more, always, always. I always like to work with everything first understanding first getting conscious about what you're doing and then you start to go more and more okay always doing it gradually so you can get used to what you're doing you start to learn and you do it correctly so with the number four what we're gonna do here set up like if you were hitting the ball okay set up here and instead of counting you're just gonna do everything together so you're gonna go here slow motion you start so you stop here for a little and then you keep going, okay? Here, a little, keep going, okay? Here, a little, stop, keep going. Okay, now you, you see that you're gonna start to, to get more of the forehand, okay? Here, a little, keep going. The best thing that you can do here in this one, and I love it and I actually do it every time, is when you get to the ball, you imagine that you're actually hitting the ball, okay? You point, you can uh, visualize in your head that you're actually hitting the ball that you could see the ball going to the other side. All right, let's go with the number five. For the number five, what you're gonna do is, instead of starting from here and coming and then going forward, you're just gonna start from the back swing, okay? But now you're gonna add more power into it, okay? Just under all the turning, just like if you were hitting. Here, go forward. Here, go forward. Here, okay, you kind of explode. It looks like the other one, it looks similar, but believe, believe me it's it makes a difference okay it, it, it's gonna take you five minutes more if you do the other one okay the number four and then on the fifth one you do here because on the next one you're gonna hit it with the ball so what you're trying here is to try to put your mind into the mindset into the work of the movement that you have to be doing to do it right okay so in the fourth one you came all the way here you stopped and then you keep going so now what you're doing is starting to put a lot more uh, a lot more uh, speed into the shot. So in the next one, okay, the last one, number six, you're actually gonna hit the ball, and I'm gonna show you right after. You're gonna get three balls here, okay? Three balls, and you're gonna do it just from the from the back swim, okay? So it would be number two here. You're gonna let the ball drop, the height of your hips, okay? Don't do it too high. If not, the ball is gonna bounce so much. From here, hit. Okay, from here, hit. From here, hit. Now, if you have uh, 20, 15, 30, 50 balls, the first one, maybe until the number 10, number 15, just don't even worry where the ball is going. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you don't even need a court for this. If you are on the court, the first one, just drop and play more with your hand, okay? Start to get the feeling. And then the, the, the more you go in, okay, you get into a number 20, number 25, there you can start to add more, more power into it and more, more uh, follow through and more speed into the ball. So those are the six exercises that I did uh, probably, I'm 27 now, so probably since I was 10 years old, these ones and many more because I had also my coach, you know, doing a lot of uh, different things with me. I can make another video. If you want another video with more exercises like this, also for the backhand, uh, for another stroke, just leave your comment below and tell me. But uh, those are the six that I wanted to show you today. It's a routine that is probably gonna take you 10 to 15 minutes, 20 the most, if you do a lot of repetition and a lot of balls. 
I hope you really enjoy it. If you like it, if you want more like this, if you want another one or another suggestion of videos, just let me know in the comments. Like the video if you like it, share it with your friends if you like it. And that was it for today. Thank you guys and see you in the next one.